All right, guys, I'm going to make a video of my Dake Arbor Press I have here. Um, I've had it for about a year or two, and um, from a couple rebuilds, so just making things around the shop, it has really come in handy, and I really appreciate um, a quality Arbor Press. Um, when I was first looking around for an Arbor Press, you know, they, they make different sizes out there, um, and they make them completely manual. They make it ratcheting, you know, there's, it all depends on how much you want to spend. But I chose this one for the, the name, the quality, uh, the features, and, um, yeah, and so far I've been really happy with it. Um, I don't really see too many videos out there on YouTube on Arbor Presses, or more specifically, Dake Arbor Presses. Um, so I just want to give you guys a look and uh, get up close and show you all the things um, that I like about this Arbor Press. So, all right, um, here, let's go over on this side first, show you what it says on the side here. Dake Arbor Press. That's the model number, one and a half B, made in Grand Haven, Michigan, USA. So, and as you can see, got it bolted down with those two holes in the castings. I got it bolted down to my workbench here. So, now the one and a half B series model, uh, the unique thing about that is that it's a really tall um, opening here between the work table and the top of the uh, the, the uh, pressing part right here. Um, I think I have like seven inches of clearance here between here and here. And I know they make a model where you can have something that goes really far back, like it gets really deep. But um, I'm glad I went, went with this one. From what I've used it so far, um, I've needed the height way more than I needed the depth. So I'm definitely glad I went with it with this one. All right, now let's come up here now. So you can see you got the handle here. Dake USA, like it. Then you got the ratcheting mechanism right here. Now, what, what you do is you can pretty much move it with this wheel to wherever you need. So it's that like a quick action feature. And then when you have something in here that you're getting ready to press, you'll bring it back down to where it's resting on top. And you come over here, this big old handle up here. And then as you can see, that's where the ratcheting part comes into play. But Three tons of pressing power here, or so, or so they advertise. But uh, all right, um, let's get this out of the way. Here's the the plate or the bed where you do all your pressing on. You got four different size slots right here. But um, or you can just leave it like that if you just need a flat surface to press on. Um, that that's the that's how that works too. So. Um, Another thing I like about this is that everything is milled um, to match the other parts of, of the machine or the tool. Um, this and this are all milled to match each other. So you get something that's just completely square and straight all the way down. So, all right, um, let's see here. There isn't too much more to talk about as far as the, this tool here. Um, oh yeah, it weighs 197 pounds. So you got a bunch of, you got some nice thick casting or cast iron going on here. It's got this nice solid spine that runs all the way down here. But yes, a very heavy solid tool. So. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about it, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments below if I missed anything. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, Dake 1.5B Arbor Press, 
Uh, you cannot go wrong with one of these uh, quality tools. Uh, they'll be around for forever. Um, there's a long history behind this name and the Arbor Press, so you know you're in good hands if you ever need to replace something or um, upgrade. So, all right, with that, like, subscribe, either way, I'll catch you later.